All right, so another example here, finding the slope of a tangent line in, uh, when our curve is given in polar form. So here we have r equals 1 plus 5 cosine theta. And again, we'll find the slope of the tangent line at theta equals pi over 4. All right, so again, uh, here's our little formula that we'll use. So it says the derivative of y with respect to x we have to take the derivative of our function with respect to theta. Well, when we take the derivative of 1, that's just 0. Uh, the 5 comes along. The derivative of cosine theta is going to be negative sine theta. So we'll be left with negative 5 times sine theta. So there's our dr d theta. We multiply that by sine theta. Plus, uh, we plug in our function, our, our, our uh, formula for r. So in this case, that's going to be... 1 plus 5 cosine theta. And again, we just multiply that by cosine theta. Again, all of this is divided by the derivative of r with respect to theta, which we said is negative 5 sine theta. We'll multiply that by cosine theta. And then minus r, so 1 plus 5 cosine theta. And now we have to multiply by sine theta. All right, so if we evaluate this again at pi over 4 is where we're evaluating it. So it says the derivative evaluated at theta equals pi over 4. Well, we'll just plug in pi over 4 everywhere. So let's see, sine of pi over 4, that's going to be square root of 2 over 2. Again, uh, we've got another sine theta, so we'll get another square root of 2 over 2. Plus, we have 1 plus 5 times cosine of pi over 4, which again is going to be square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of pi over 4 will be square root of 2 over 2. Lots of square roots of 2's over 2's here. So the denominator again will get negative 5 times the square root of 2 over 2. Let's see, cosine of pi over 4 is going to be square root of 2 over 2 minus 1 plus 5 times the square root of 2 over 2. Again, multiplied by the square root of 2 over 2. All right, so now it's just a matter of sort of cleaning all this up. Um, let's see, so the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, that's 2. Uh, we'll get a 4 in the denominator. So 2 over 4 is just going to be 1 half. Let's see, I guess we could distribute. We would have square root of 2 over 2. Plus, again, when we distribute the square root of 2 over 2 to the 5 root 2 over 2, we'll be left with, 5 times a half. Uh, same thing in the denominator. We'll have negative 5 times 1 half when we uh, multiply and simplify here. Minus, let's see, I guess we would end up with a root 2 over 2. And then again, if we uh, distribute, we'll have a negative 5. Root 2 over 2 times root 2 over 2, again, it's going to leave us with 1 half. So I think what I'm going to do to get rid of all these fractions is multiply the you know, numerator and denominator by 2. So if we do that in uh, the numerator, we'll be left with negative 5 plus the square root of 2 uh, plus 5. In the denominator, we're going to be left with negative 5 minus the square root of 2. And then it looks like we have another um, minus 5. So let's see, in the numerator, uh, it looks like we have a negative 5 and a positive 5 that will cancel out. So we're left with the square root of 2. In the denominator, we'll have a negative 10. And then we'll have a minus square root of 2. Um, I think I'm going to leave that right there. And now we've got the value for the slope of our tangent line.